let us study about the moon and its phases with the help of an animation phases of moon for centuries man has been intrigued by the changing phase of the moon the moon appears to be of different shapes in the sky on different nights phases represent the illuminated portion of moon that we see from the earth as the moon begins to orbit the earth sun's light reflects on the moon causing a different portion to glow the phases of the moon changes as the moon makes its way around the earth when the moon appears to be growing it is said to be waxing and if it appears to be getting smaller it is waning a crescent shaped moon means it's less than half fourth and gibbous means it's more than half fourth the moon's phases repeat every month starting with new moon the different phases of the moon are new moon waxing crescent first quarter waxing gibbous full moon waning gibbous last quarter and waning crescent a question must be coming to your mind that why the shape of the moon keeps on changing the moon has no light of its own thus we see only that portion of the moon from which the sunlight is reflected towards us let us observe the formation of day and night in an animation the part of the earth facing the sun will have day while the part of the earth which is not facing the sun at that time will have night moon is visible to us because the sunlight falling on it gets reflected towards us phases of moon refer to the appearance of the brighter portion of the moon during a month as seen by an observer on the earth moon's phases vary cyclically a full moon day is that day on which the whole disk of the moon is visible Fifteen days after a full moon, the moon is not visible at all. This day is known as the new moon day. The day after a new moon, only a small portion of the moon appears in the sky, known as crescent moon. After the crescent moon, again, the moon grows larger in size every day. On the fifteenth day, once again, we get full view of the moon moon's surface is dusty and barren many craters of different sizes are there on its surface large number of steep and high mountains also exists on the moon no life can exist on the moon as there is no atmosphere on its surface On July 21, 1969, the American astronaut Neil Armstrong landed on the moon for the first time. Neil Armstrong was followed by Edwin Aldrin. Let us try to answer a simple question. The reason behind the formation of day and night on the earth is the revolution of the sun around the earth the revolution of the earth around the sun the rotation of the earth on its own axis the revolution of the moon around the earth the correct option is c